I'm in the house by 5 o'clock because I'm, I'm afraid that something's going to happen out here in these streets. And she is not alone tonight. Neighbors, including many parents, are demanding that efforts to stop violence become a top priority after a 14-year-old boy was shot and killed in the middle of the day in Roxbury. Now, everyone agrees with people making that statement, but what does change look like? Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lisa Hughes. And I'm David Wade. Another young person was wounded in that shooting, and we're covering a similar story in Dorchester last week. Tonight, our team asking what can be done and who can get it accomplished. Our coverage begins tonight with W. BZ's Louisa Muller. She's live in Roxbury where the boy was shot. And Louisa, neighbors there with a clear of idea of what needs to be done to make their streets safer. David, Lisa, I spoke with a man this morning who's too nervous to go on camera. He lost his son to gun violence in the city last year. He said he wants to see more officers physically on the streets. I spoke with a group of grandmothers. They want to see metal detectors in schools. We used to go to block parties and and friends in this area. Like, I could walk these streets in these neighborhoods, and I felt all right. When a group of grandmothers meet in this Roxbury Park, sometimes they reflect on good times, sometimes they talk fear and anger. I'm deathly afraid of allowing my nieces, my nephews, my grandchildren even in this area to bring them to the park because I don't know if this if, if a car driving by is going to be shooting up. I said, well, whoever's shooting, they're emptying the chambers. A few blocks away around lunchtime yesterday, neighbors off Washington and Cobden streets heard gunshots and saw a juvenile running bloodied into this apartment now surrounded by caution tape. Behind a building nearby, a 14-year-old lay with multiple gunshot wounds. He was later pronounced dead. That young teen, also a Boston Public School student. People got to realize that they're not in Hollywood making a movie where they can say cut, do a retake. Because once you're gone, you're gone, and it impacts a lot of families' lives and all that stuff. One week earlier, a student was allegedly shot by another outside the Jeremiah Burke High School in Dorchester. We asked Boston Police Brass about the violence. What would you say to people who say, I don't feel safe, even though crime, violent crime is going well, down? The students, that's a different, that's a different you know, conversation. But certainly, you know, we're working with the school superintendent to make sure that everyone feels safe in that environment. Ask grandmother Marva. She says she wants metal detectors in schools and more officers on the streets. So everybody can feel safe going in and coming out. You said they'd love to have more officers right on that street in that area. What would you say to those folks? I would love to have more officers in this city. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The young person who was injured but survived, we're told he's in stable condition. No arrests have been made at this point, and Boston schools are making counselors available to students. Live in Roxbury, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News. Louisa, thank you.